Hi everyone in the Orbs community. I hope you're all well and healthy. Um, there's a lot going on at the Orbs project at the moment, and I thought it would be a good idea to go over some of the exciting things the team is working on. And I just so happen to have the best person for the job, Orbs co-founder, Tal Kohl. Hi, Tal. Hello, Bar. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Great. And how is everybody? It's going to find out. I see that you're still working from home, and I see all the boxes. Want to tell us a little bit about how that's like? Uh, well, yes. Yeah. So we've been working for home, from home for a long time now because, you know, we can work remotely uh, and uh, COVID and everything. We want to be safe. And sure. uh, chance happens to be that I moved apartments uh, oh just, my God. just yesterday. <laughs> so I still didn't unpack fully. And all you can see is all the boxes in my new apartment. Um, so it's a bit challenging because uh, it's a very, very exciting time in Orbs right now with the launch of the Orbs V2 beta, uh, which is happening as we speak. Uh, I was so it's just been, about to ask about that. <laughs> it's been a very, very hectic <laughs> week. As you can see, all the boxes are still packed. I didn't even have oh my time God. to unpack yet. <laughs> Good luck. And you, you did mention V2. What can you tell us about the upcoming V2 Ah, uh, Age of Guardians. The Age of Guardians. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a huge milestone in the Orbs Proof of Stake universe. Uh, and, you know, we've been working on it for I don't know how many months. And there was an endless amount of thought into it. It's basically taking the network to the next level. You know, we had Orbs V1. That's a network that we have now in production. It's a, an amazing network. But now we're really taking the next leap. Um, into, you know, better proof of stake, better decentralization, more permissionless. Um, and, and it's simply amazing. Um, amazing. So, so first of all, proof of stake, you know, this is the pillar of what we are. The proof of stake universe in Orbs is an integral part of the network. And this is basically what's responsible for the security and the stability. Uh, and the V1 staking mechanism that we had was suitable for our early days. Uh, and the main focus there then was inclusion and stability because, you know, the network was very young. Uh, there was, for example, due diligence. Uh, we did, anyone could join as a validator back then, uh, but we did some due diligence just to see that, you know, these people don't abuse their position. Uh, it was open, but still some due diligence. Uh, and now I think we're taking the next leap. Uh, V2 has more emphasis on usage and performance. Uh, it will enable you know, the optimal platform for enterprise blockchain applications. And you know, the proof of stake, the, 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 the tweaks that we've done there, really take it to the next level of being completely permissionless and completely decentralized. You know, for example, due diligence, which is an important aspect, we removed this aspect from the main network. And, That's you great know, improvement. Uh, it, it's 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 kind of a double-edged sword because you know how can you have a safe network, uh, and 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 you know, this is what proof of stake is all about because basically the stakeholders in the network, the delegators, they choose guardians that they trust, and these guardians uphold the security and the safety of the network. Yeah. Uh, and we feel now that the ecosystem has matured enough that we can rely completely on proof of stake to do the due diligence for us. Uh, and, and the stake is distributed enough that, that the network will behave nicely. We are planning another, you know, kind of a certified sub-network on top of the main network uh, that will have validators go through some certification process for big enterprises. Uh, we'll discuss that, I think, in the future. Uh, but I think my main point is that the main mainnet of ORBS is going to be completely decentralized and permissionless. Anyone can join. No one has to talk to anyone. Um, in order to do so. And the only thing that will choose whether they're a validator or not, if they're chosen in the committee and receive rewards, mm -hmm. is only if they have enough stake behind them, which is, I think, what proof of stake should be all about. And I'm really, that really proud. That sounds amazing. It really yeah. is. I'm, I'm really proud that we've reached this level. Uh, this is pretty cool. Congratulations. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, are, there are many, 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 many parts of, of V2. You know, we tried to, because it's such a major release, we try to touch every aspect. You know, we try to listen to the community and we talk to guardians continuously and we get feedback. And there are several aspects that have always bothered people about the network. And we really took the time in V2 to improve these things. Uh, and, and one of these uh, areas, for example, is the staking rewards. You know, everybody loves the rewards. It's the main parts. Right. It's of the incentive system. And the rewards we had 
until now required in v1 they required manual distribution um, that we did every three months this was why it was so slow uh, because somebody had to do it manually you know all the calculations were on ethereum so anyone could verify them but still the network relied on a good Samaritan to actually do the distribution itself on the foundation. Uh, and this is one of the big things that we're changing in V2. In V2, the staking rewards will not be calculated every three months, but they're calculated continuously on Ethereum. Meaning wow. every time somebody is staking, unstaking, changing delegators, the rewards change immediately. So the, the calculations of the rewards is now continuous on Ethereum, which is a huge plus. And, and the second thing that changed is, for example, the, the split and how often to distribute. Uh, so there is no longer, you know, it's no longer uh, our job to distribute. So the guardians themselves distribute uh, rewards to their delegators. And this is amazing. Wow. Uh, yeah, because they can choose whatever frequency they, they want to do. Uh, and they could do two weeks. This is the, the, mm -hmm. the recommended number that we uh, propose to them. But if a, a guardian wants to distribute uh, every two days, they could if they want to. Um, and if they want to save costs because you distribute on Ethereum and you need to pay a little bit of, uh, of, of Ethereum gas fees, if they want to save costs, they can distribute every month. Uh, it's up to them. Uh, and another thing that is up to them is how to split the rewards with delegators. Uh, so it's actually in the protocol. They can uh, actually say what is the split that they support. We're going to present this split uh, in the UI uh, in uh, Tetra. Uh, but we still have a protection in place to make sure that they remain profitable because so talking, yeah, to, to talking to guardians, we understand that maintaining guardian profitability is very important uh, or else the, the, the network will, you know, will go down. Uh, so yeah. we made a few protections in that area and I think it's, it's super cool. Um, so basically what we give is we give the guardians an automated distribution mechanism that they can use. Uh, it's going to be part of the node core. The, all the code is on GitHub. It's all open source. You can look. By the way, uh, in this release, personally, I coded a lot of it. Uh, so if you look into my really? GitHub. Yeah, yeah. I, nice. You know, up, up until now, I think, um, like in mostly in V1, I was in a more managerial position. I was yeah. managing uh, the, more the R&D team and stuff like that. But I think in V2, uh, I wrote, you know, a significant percent of the code. I have like several wow. services in the node that I wrote myself. Uh, so you can look in my GitHub uh, username and you can really see- Really got in there. Yeah, you can see the commits that I did. You can see the strange hours of the day <laughs> that they're, they're made at. I think this is the cool thing about open source because anyone can see that the project is active. Go to GitHub and see what we're actually working on. You can see, you know, in the half an hour before I spoke to you, Bar, you know, I, I, I pushed a fix to the staging environment. Uh, and people can just go to GitHub and look at what I did. The, the and left some boxes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, between the boxes. Amazing. Exactly. Yeah, between the boxes. Oh, yeah. it sounds amazing. Really is. Uh -huh. So we basically what we we expect that the guardians will build, you know, a very healthy community of delegators that trust them, uh, and they represent the theirs and the network interests. This is what it's all about. Because you know, guardians have a crucial role in maintaining, you know, the the consistent and frequent distribution schedule, uh, and they will need to do that in order to gain the delegators' trust. And if the delegators don't like it, they can just move to a different guardian that just does a better job. Uh, so I think the incentives here are, are uh, well, very well designed. Kudos to Oded, uh, who designed the whole thing. Um, and, and I think you should have a, a, a video uh, interview with him. I think he has so much to say. Yeah, well, this is the first time we're actually doing this video to see all the amazing work. And I sure do hope so we'll do it again. Uh, you did mention Ethereum. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, we saw the postponement of Ethereum 2.0 launch. What well, can you tell me about Ethereum 2.0 in relation to ORS? Uh, well, first of all, launching a blockchain is difficult. <laughs> no matter, <laughs> no, no matter how, like when somebody starts to estimate times, how long things will take, you see how difficult it is. You know, the Ethereum guys are amazing. They have some of the best developers in the world. They have tons of experience. They have a huge and thriving community. Uh, and they're a top project. And you can see that even in this top project, these things take time. So one thing is not to you know, make fun of them and say, oh, they'll work slowly. No, I think 
Building a blockchain from scratch is very, very difficult. It's a tremendous task. I think this is the biggest task I've ever been part of in my life. Uh, so I'm very appreciative to all the effort they're putting into it. And I understand- The difference between time. complicated and complex. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. Uh, so, so I understand why it takes, what, what it takes time, but these postponements don't, don't uh, influence orbs too much. Um, the main thing we want from Ethereum is actually the proof of work part. Um, I think the proof of work is, is expensive, but proof of work has some great benefits of Ethereum 1.0. And the proof of work of Ethereum is actually what is making our network much more secure. Um, think about it, you know, I, I had a post, I don't know if, if anyone remembers it, uh, it had a post uh, with Game of Thrones and it talked about Cersei. Uh, and it talked about how proof of stake voting is, is done. And, and proof of stake voting is kind of like electing you know, electing your government or electing a king if it's a, in the Game of Thrones uh, universe. <laughs> and one of the difficult things about proof of stake is that usually the people who count the votes are the validators themselves. And this is kind of like parallel to, you know, having uh, an election in King's Landing and letting Cersei uh, count who won and she would say, yay, I won. Uh, so it's very <laughs> It's difficult to trust. So I have a very cool yeah. blog post about it from last year's uh, Ethereal. You could read it. Uh, I will definitely and, check that after this video. <laughs> and, and one of the things we talk about is how external oversight to the proof of stake elections is so important. Kind of think about having the UN overseeing Cersei counting the votes. And I think this brings a lot of trust into the network and we don't see that in too many networks. And one of the cool things we try to do in Orbs is do that with Ethereum because Ethereum is a standalone blockchain. It has its own work uh, and it's guaranteeing the results of our elections. And I think this is super important. Um, and so I think Ethereum 1 is great for Orbs. Uh, the only, I think maybe just costs in Ethereum uh, are going up a little bit and this is annoying because the gas prices are high. Uh, but I hope that, you know, the new version of Ethereum will make everything cheaper. Uh, just because, yeah, just because Ethereum becomes more scalable. Uh, so yeah. it doesn't affect us a lot, um, but uh, we're just observing from the but side. you're acknowledging it. <laughs> okay, uh, sounds good. Um, I did want to ask you something important. First of all, Orbs recently celebrated one year anniversary since the main Ooh. launch. Congratulations. Um, looking back, what can you tell me about the last year of the Orbs Project milestone and achievements? And also, how do you see the upcoming year of the project from now? Um, so I think, you know, I think the launch one year ago went extremely smoothly. Uh, we had dozens uh, of validators active immediately after launch and the network worked smoothly. Uh, so that was very impressive to see. Uh, I think we we actually, you know, our performance milestones, we met them and the network operates, you know, a very, it can operate a very high number of virtual chains in a very high throughput of each. So this is very cool to see. And we, and we show that the network is stable. It has been running stably um, for a year and it's working very well. Uh, so looking back, I think, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, we had a lot of areas to improve, mostly on the areas, you know, to become more decentralized, more community. Yeah, super product. important. Yes, because, you know, the idea is not having us, a few developers, build this thing for you. I know it's, it's a community effort that we're all building together. Uh, and I think, you know, the recent changes that we made to the proof of stake ecosystem, this is the main trigger for the whole thing. Because once the incentives uh, um, allow us to work where the guardians actually steer the network into where it should go and not us. This is the vision. This is what should be. And I think we've made a tremendous step towards that. Uh, so I'm very, very proud. Uh, so we had a lot to, to improve and I think we've made these improvements. So this is a very, very great achievement. Um, so I'm very, very happy. Uh, I think, you know, if you look at the code base, uh, V2 is is actually bigger than V1. Uh, there was a, a lot of development going on. You could look at the GitHub. You know, I counted how many repos we had on GitHub. We have, I think, uh, over 120 or something. Oh my God. Yeah, it's insane. You know, I, I wow. work, before I, I, I was in blockchain, I worked in a, in a big company uh, in Israel called Wix. Wix is a, is a company that's, uh, um, it's a, 
it's traded in the new in the in the New York Stock Exchange, the Nasdaq, uh, and it's a very very big and successful company, and it has thousands of employees, and and Wix has a few hundreds, uh, low a few hundreds of of, of open source projects, I think, and Orbs has over a hundred. It's it, it's pretty amazing to see. Wow. Uh, yeah. So we have a lot of code out there, and I'm really proud that we were able to do everything open from day one. You know, every improvement that we did was done open source. Uh, we don't work behind closed doors and then just push it out uh, when it's ready. We actually do the development process itself in the open. So anyone who wants to see what we're working on, just go to GitHub and, and, and you can see. Uh, it's very, very cool. Amazing. Uh, you, you also asked how, how I see the project a year from yeah, now. Yeah, I would love to hear what do you see ahead. So what I want to see is, I think we have a pretty mature proof of stake ecosystem. Now the delegators are in, we have a lot of locked stake, which is, which is amazing. Uh, what I want to see in a year from now is to see that the guardians are, are much more active. And not just from uh, you know, asking questions and-, and you To have know, a stronger community? Yeah, so they have a stronger community and they influence where the project goes. Uh, I think this is the most important thing. Uh, you know, just a few, like just a week ago, uh, the Guardians of Orbs, which is a, uh, one of the, uh, one of the gar Guardians in the network, actually sent me personally uh, some Q&A, uh, some questions for me to answer. So I published a Q&A in the blog post with, with all the questions that they had. Nice. They, co they collected it from the community. And I really urge uh, everybody to do that. Like, I, I wish I... I I had more of these uh, because I, I know that the community has questions and I, I don't think that we're always, you know, approachable and easy. It's easy to ask us these questions. Uh, so I really think that if the guardians kind of like concentrate this effort, th this could be great. Uh, this could add transparency into what we're doing and it could involve the community in our decision making. Um, so I really want to see the guardians much more active. Um, that's, that's how I see the network a year from now. Well, everything sounds amazing. Sounds like we have a lot to look forward to. Um, thank you so much for your time. Uh, sure. It was my pleasure to hear all these amazing things. The team sounds like it's working hard. Um, I do hope to so. have some other videos with them. Um, yeah, I really want to I thank you, the yeah. R&D, because, you know, people know me and people know Oded, and, you know, m most of our engineers are really, like, nameless. Like, people just know their GitHub handles, and that's it. And I really want to hear, for, for you guys to hear from them, you know, like, ask them, Bar, what have you been working on? Tell us about a crazy feature that you did or something funny that happened to you. And they all have amazing stories. They've been working so hard. I will definitely, I will definitely... Uh go to that direction and try to get to know better the team. Uh, I wish you best of luck. And again, congratulations for the main at launch. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in our next video, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.